All right, let's go into part two of our top 50 cities to retire in the U.S. for retirees in terms of cost of living. Uh, we left off with the great state of, I think it was Delaware yesterday. Yep, uh, we left off with Delaware. Now we're going to go down to Florida. Uh, and again, this is from Kiplinger's, and there'll be a link in the show notes. Uh, they say Cape Corral, Florida is the best place to retire in Florida. Population just under 700,000. Uh, share population over 65, amazingly, is a high share. Over a quarter of the population is over 65. Yet the cost of living is 6% below the national average. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Uh, average income for households, and again, I told you a million times on Sunday, averages don't really define much, but uh, eh, what are you going to do? They don't give us the median, so we're going to use the average, about 50,000 schmackers. Uh, with this desirable climate and favorable tax status, Florida is filled with popular retirement destinations. What? Who knew? Uh, many of our favorite retirement spots in Sunshine State, uh, Sunshine State can be found along the Gulf Coast, including St. Petersburg, Sarasota, and Punta Gorda. Uh, Cape Corral's metro includes Fort Myers, another great place to consider for your retirement. But Cape Corral's population, about 200,000, is unique uh, in its waterway access, offering 400 miles canals for all your boating and fishing needs. And land lovers can enjoy the rich beaches of golf, tennis, parks. All. So I, I don't know anything about it. Too hot and muggy for me. But if you like Florida, Cape Corral looks like a good place. Oh, did I say smash? Did I say smash? And don't forget to smash! You got to smash that like button, my friend. Smash away! Ooh, Savannah, Georgia. All right, so here's the great state of Georgia. Uh, population about 375,000. 12.8% is above the age of 65. Cost of living is what I'm talking about. 10.2% below the national average. Uh, average income is about $45,000. Uh, warm weather and low cost of living. And don't forget, my friends, if you're in the great state of Georgia and you're making 65000 or less, you pay no taxes once you're over 65 years old. None or 130000 or less for a, retire for a married couple, no taxes, no income tax, no income tax. And the property taxes here are pretty reasonable as well. The only two states to, uh, oh, Georgia ranks third among our best states for retirement. The only two states to rank higher than Georgia is Hawaii and South Dakota. Man, that's exact. I said Hawaii. I said my top seven, Hawaii was in there. And I was like, Hawaii's too expensive. I, I mean, <laughs> Hey, I, that's they got Hawaii in here too. And I've never been to Hawaii, so I'm just going off the property taxes. But the property taxes are low because the price of houses are so high. Maybe, but man, they're not getting hammered property tax uh, in South Dakota too. I actually had Wyoming. South Dakota property tax is a little bit too high. But uh, I've always thought about South Dakota. Now I'm rethinking maybe not South Dakota. I'm thinking maybe Western Washington, the eastern part of the wet, the the. Over the Cascades, not Seattle, but the other, like the central area of Washington and, uh, and Oregon looks pretty good. Dry, still pretty green, uh, but you're not getting the crazy rain like the east, the, uh, the western part. You know what I'm saying? So in Washington and Oregon, the least, I've never been, I've, you know, I've literally been to Washington one time for like three days. I said that's Seattle. But I guess on the other, the eastern side of the mountains, it doesn't rain as much. I guess that's my understanding. So for me, it's like Bend, Oregon, and that central part of Washington just looks freaking awesome. The most apples in the world or something like that in that area. And I love a fresh apple. <sighs> Looking at that, and I'm getting a look. It's all fantasy for me, man, but it's fun to look at. I still had a rapid city on my mind, but I just, I don't know if there's anything to do up there. I don't know. But anyway, Georgia, man, it's just too buggy for me. I just, the, the, oh, too buggy. Um. But it's beautiful. It's freaking Georgia's awesome. It, Georgia is awesome. I'm not against Georgia at all. I just the humidity. East. I'm from Maine, my friends. I was in the Army in upstate New York. The humidity wears me out. There's no other way around that. I just like, ugh. Now, uh, the minute I get back to the cold climate, be like, oh, the cold wears me out. But we shall see. Now, with, with this warm weather and low living cost, yeah, we were talking about that. Savannah population about 150 is particularly peachy. Get that peachy. Uh, the historic Georgia city offers beautiful sites just right for strolling through retirement, including classic American architecture, town squares, and riverfront views. Uh, Tybee Island with its wide beaches and still operating lighthouse is just 20 minute drive. Hmm. Never been to Tybee, never been to Savannah. You can enjoy a array of restaurants, museums, particularly in downtown Savannah. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, I've never been. Oh, Hilo, Hawaii. Oh, look at that. Hilo, Hawaii. 193,000 people, share of population over 65 is about 17 and a half. 
Cost of living, 45% above the national average, and the average income here is about 60,000 bucks. Uh, it's tax friendly. Hawaii is very tax friendly. I, and I'm telling you, people are shocked by that. But just look. Uh, Hawaii is known for its beautiful beaches, enviable climate, and high prices. If you're hoping to retire in paradise, you can do more uh, affordably on the big island compared to uh, Oahu, home of the capital city of Honolulu, where retiree living costs are 88% above the U.S. average. The median home value in Hilo is 300,000 bucks. Well, we're still pricey compared to the U.S. median of 184, but much more reasonable than 602,000 in Honolulu. Crazy. So I don't know anything about Hawaii, but that, man, I tell you what, that's the big island. So you can do so more affordably on the big island compared with Oahu. Okay, so I guess Hilo or Hilo is on the big island and Honolulu is on Oahu. Is that how it works? And Honolulu is the main town in Hawaii. I'm not even sure if that's the capital. That's interesting. I wouldn't want to live on that um, Honolulu anyway. It's too busy, I would think. I'd rather be out here. I don't know anything about it. So if you have some comments, tell me about Hawaii. That's pretty cool. Uh, Boise, Idaho. Uh, let's take a look. Population is 663,000. The share of population above 65 is uh, 13%. So you get a lot of young folks. 7.5% uh, below the national average for cost of living. Uh, average income is only 43000 bucks. So, I mean, you can get by on that just on Social Security. Tax rates mixed. It's a great college town for retirees because they got that Boise State there. Is that the capital? Looks like it's probably the capital, right? Yeah, I bet it is. Uh, Boise State provides plenty of intellectual stimulation to keep an aging mind sharp. You can also take classes at the school through the Lifelong Learning Institute. Membership costs 70 bucks a year. Off campus, you can walk, run, or bike more than 20 miles of paved trails of the Boise River Greenbelt. Uh, lots of outdoor stuff out there. We know that for a fact. So, yeah, it looks good to me, man. You, know, you got those big mountains back there. It looks nice. I've never been. Don't know much about it. Naperville, Illinois. Yeah, I've, I've heard of Naperville. Got uh, 9.5 million because it's uh, part of the Chicago metropolitan area. Uh, share of population above 65 is only 11%. because so those people are fleeing uh, Illinois to get out of Dodge before the, the hammer comes down on incre ever-increasing taxes. Cost of living is only is right about the national average, but the average income in Naperville is about 77000 bucks. Yeah. Part of the sprawling Chicago metro area, along with nearby Joliet, this suburb lets you take a step back from city living while keeping you close enough to enjoy the benefits wherever you like. Uh, Naperville has about 150000 total. Uh, Pedestrian-friendly downtown loaded with shops and restaurants, as well as a 1.75-mile river walk. Uh, the ride from Naperville to Chicago's Union Station is about an hour, and people 65 and over qualify for reduced fares on the metro. Um, once in the city, you can relish everything that makes Chicago famous. Yeah. Uh, Indiana, Fort Wayne. All right, let's keep going down here. Uh, population, about 425,000. Share of population above 65 is 13.6. Uh, Cost of living is 8.5% below national average, so I always like that. Uh, average income is only 42000 bucks. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Indiana is not tax friendly. It's just not. I think Kiblinger calls it the least tax friendly, which I 100% agree with. Uh, Fort Wayne's metro area affordability will not cost you uh, in amenities. Despite being home to a nice collection of quiet neighborhoods, it also houses a thriving art scene and hosts a number of festivals and events throughout the year. Uh, let's see. Uh, the, 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 the main uh, provide ample opportunities for uh, get the St. Uh, Joseph, the St. Mary's, and Maumee Rivers are a main feature of the area, providing ample opportunities for canoeing, kayaking, and cruising. More outdoor attractions. Fort Wayne is home to 86 parks and more than 90 miles of hiking and biking trails. Eh, that's cool, man. Uh, it's no by no means metropolis. Uh, the population of the city is about 265,000. But if, you're, if you ever feel the need for a small town like escape, head north to uh, heads two hours south to Richmond, the cheapest small town in America. Is that Richmond, Indiana or Richmond, Kentucky? Uh, some of the earliest jazz records recorded in Richmond by Duke Ellington and Louis Armstrong. Yeah, who knew? I don't know anything about Fort Wayne. Don't know anything. But I, if it's, I like this size town, about 200,000 people. That usually means they're big enough to have a minor league, a double-A baseball team. Probably not triple-A, but double-A baseball team. Probably have a hockey team there, too. That's my kind of... That's my kind of retirement town. Uh, Des Moines, Iowa. 
Uh, 611,000 people in Des Moines, 12, only 12.2% 12 are uh, 65 and above, uh, and 10 point, it's more than 10% below the cost of living of the national average. Average income for households, about 47,000 bucks, so it's pretty cheap. Uh, for retirees looking to live in a big city on a small budget, Des Moines is a good choice. Affordability is just one reason the Milken Institute ranked the state capital fifth out of 100 large U.S. metro areas for successful aging. It also boasts a strong economy and plenty of healthcare facilities specializing in aging related services. I know, I did notice that there's one out there, like chiropractors or something like that. I think their headquarters is in Des Moines. I, I can't remember what it was. It's Dr. D.O., that's chiropractors, right? It seemed like their big, uh, their lobbying group was based out of Des Moines, if memory serves. Retirees won't lack for things to do. There are numbers of museums and arts including outdoor sculpture park, a zoo, and botanical gardens. There's even a casino and racetrack. See, I hate that, man. I hate casinos. I just, I, look, I don't hate, look, if you want to go to casino, I don't care. But, like, they tried this casino stuff all over the place, and I don't see it succeeding in terms of what they're saying. We're going to bring growth to the community. You, you know, if you want to see a proof of that, go to Vicksburg, Mississippi, my friends. It's, it's just, it's not a pleasant place. It's, uh, Vicksburg is just, you got some casinos. And you got, that's pretty much it. The downtowns, it's just not good. It's sad. It really, it really is sad. So you see these casinos, you know, the people playing uh, gambling there shouldn't be gambling. That's for sure. All right. Uh, we'll go to Kansas and we'll stop here. Uh, Kansas City, actually Kansas should be L, right? A, B, C, F, G. Let's see. It was, we want to, yeah. Let's, okay. We'll go to Kansas. We'll go through the K's. Kansas and Kentucky. Uh, so here's Kansas City, Kansas. Um, is uh, population 2 million in Kansas City. Of course, Kansas City, Missouri is probably what we're looking at right there. 13.3% uh, are 65 and above. 8.5% below the national average. You only need about 52,000 to get by in Kansas, Kansas City, Kansas. The metro st straddles two states, as certainly you're well aware of, and offers a wide range of attractions for people of all ages. Uh, Charlie Parker is from uh, Kansas City, Kansas. The American Jazz Museum. Jazz never did much for you, though. I can't lie. The Nelson Atkins Museum of Art. The Kauffman Center for the Performing Arts and the Kansas City Art Institute. I think the Kauffman Center is from the Kauffman Fund. So if you remember the Kauffman Fund, I think they were based out of Kansas, uh, Kansas City. Um, and they, they were charging two and a quarter for fees. So no wonder why they got enough money to have the Kauffman Center for Performing Arts. For foodies, authentic uh, barbecue is big too. I've heard that actually. Barbecue is big in Kansas City. Uh, my German uh, heir, not heirs, uh, forefathers are from Kansas City. So they, uh, isn't that it? My granddad was born in Kansas City, and I think his dad uh, and mom, I think, I can't remember. They went, they moved from Germany to Kansas City, and then ultimately went to Bisbee, Arizona to do mining. I think it was copper mining. And then they moved back to Kansas City if memory serves. So Kansas City is part of the Scanlon, aka Deichman folklore, or folklore is what I'm looking for. Um, it's pretty interesting. I, I don't know anything about the city, but uh, I know that's where my grandpa was born. Uh, also, the main campus of University of Kansas. I didn't know that. I didn't know the main campus of Kansas is in Kansas City. Oh, it's less than 40 miles away in Lawrence. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, and then the KU's Landon Center on Aging Houses Clinical Re and Research uh, focus on the treatment of older adults. All right, so we got Kentucky. Yeah, Lexington, beautiful man. About 500,000 people there. Share population uh, 65 and above is 12 and a half. Cost of living is 4%, the national average. About 52,000 bucks is the average uh, income there. And as you expect, it holds plenty of appeal for horse lovers and bourbon aficionados, neither of which am I. But retirees can pursue other interests as well. The Lexington uh, has more than 100 parks, six public golf courses, a 734 acre nature preserve with more than 10 miles of hiking trails. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Lexington, they used to have the Kentucky Thoroughblades, uh, a minor league, uh, I think American Hockey League team. And they were, man, they were selling out like crazy. I don't think they're there anymore. But it's, uh, that was back in the early 2000, the early 19, mid to early 1990s. Kentucky Thoroughblades. I remember my brother and I going through Lexington, uh, stopping at UK and just messing around. I got a Kentucky Thoroughblade hat, uh, and they played in the Rupp Arena. And that was uh, they were selling out like crazy. Um, I'm sure they're not anymore, but or I bet they're not even there anymore. You can satisfy academic pursuits at UK. Uh, the Light, uh, Osher Lifelong uh, Learning Institute offers various courses and forums, interest groups, trips, and events to people age 50 or older, which would be me, me, in one year and 
uh, three days. Don't one year change the second, right? One year and five days, I'll be 50 and older. Annual membership costs 25 bucks, man. I'll be doing that. Uh, the Donovan Fellowship allows Kentucky residents age 65 and older to take university classes free. Wow. Uh, and then we'll uh, do this last one, L. So we'll end up with L's, which is Louisiana, Lafayette, Louisiana. Just, oosh, that just looks like hot, muggy, and mosquito bugs to me. But uh, Lafayette, the uh, Kiblinger's talks highly of, so let's see what they got. Population about 500,000. Cost of living is well below uh, the average, about 12.5% below. I'm sorry, 12.5% uh, of the population is over 65 nine and a half percent below the national average for cost of living and again fifty-two thousand is the average income there if you're craving the cajun and creole culture lafayette is a place to retire known as a cajun capital city the area is rich in history distinctive foods and two-step and tunes uh, nature lovers can appreciate the area too located on the mississippi flyway in the some kind of loop of america's wetland birding trail uh, bird watchers have gotten a glimpse of over 240 species so far Unfortunately, the area's wealth does not reflect in many older residents' finances. So the average income for people aged 65 and older is just a bit below the national average. The poverty rate is high. Uh, so on the bright side, the metro has an abundance of healthcare facilities with about 27 establishments per thousand, which is much higher than the, uh, the, the uh, U.S. at large. All right, we'll stop there. So we finish up with, oh, Portland, Maine, where your buddy's from, where I was born and raised, Portland, Maine. All right, we'll have to do that next time. So stay tuned, my friends, and we'll see you next time. We're going to smash, of course, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.